Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to create ribbing, crochet ribbing, um, using half double crochet into the third loop. And this gives you a very thick um, ribbing. So this would be quite good for, um, like if you use cotton, maybe to do washcloths or dishcloths or something, but this is a nice thick, you get a nice thick fabric from it. Um, this sample is then going to be made into a crochet pumpkin, um, which I'll show you how to do, and then um, you can make lots to decorate your home with um, in the fall. So to begin, uh, you need some uh, super bulky yarn. I'm going to use this Woolies Thick and Quick yarn uh, from Lion Brand. And I've got a 9mm US 13 crochet hook. Okay, so to get started, um, you need to make a slip knot with your yarn. Then um, you need to chain 12. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So you've got 12 chains there. Next, you're going to do one half double crochet um, in the second chain from the hook and then in each chain to the end. So yarn over, second chain from hook, yarn over again, bring that through, yarn over and through the three loops. So yarn over, put the hook through the chain, yarn over again, pull it through, yarn over and then through the three loops together and that's a half double crochet stitch. So we do that all the way to the end of the row. So when you've completed that last stitch, that's what the first row will look like. Um, next, you need to turn. So we're looking at the back of the piece um, and you need to chain one. Okay. Next, we do one half double crochet in the back loop, in the third loop of each stitch to the end. So we've got we yarn over and then we turn the work and we look for um, this loop here. This is the third loop. So then we do the half double crochet through that. Let me show you again. Yarn over on the next stitch. This here it's, this would be your normal way of doing it. We're missing those out and we're looking for the third loop, which is this one here. So you push through that one and then you do your half double crochet stitch. Yarn over, third loop again. Yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through and then we continue to do that all the way along the row. It might seem a little tricky at first 
um, but you'll you'll get used to it. Just finding that third loop in the work, and it creates a very thick ribbing. And then in the very last stitch, it can be a little difficult to see where it is. So you need to pick it out there and grab it. Okay, and there you can see it's pulled up. So you will repeat row two. So continue doing that. So when you, you would turn it again and you would chain one and then you would continue to repeat row two by working in the third loop only along the next row down. I'll just show you a few more. And you can see that it's starting to look ribbed. You can see that rib there. So when you continue, it will continue to look like this. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. So next, when you have your sample finished, um, I'm going to show you now how to turn it into a, a pumpkin. So you need a, a darning needle or yarn needle and to leave a long length um, when you finish the sample, when you cut your yarn, thread that. And then put the right sides together, which is this side, and seam those sides together so that you create a tube. Just using the mattress stitch here just to seam this. Okay, when you've done that and you reach the bottom, well, this is going to be the bottom, but I suppose it's the top for now, you need to do a running stitch around this edge so just poke the needle through um, the stitches and make sure that yarn is going all the way around when you get back to where you started, back to the beginning. Cinch it closed, do a good cinch and secure it into place. To finish it, you can push the needle through the middle and out through the other side and 
and you can secure it better there and do a knot to hold it in place. Push the yarn through and just finish with that. You can cut that yarn there and then turn it the right side out. Okay, next you need to stuff it. So you need something like polyfill, um, fiber fill, toy stuffing, um, yarn scraps or fabric scraps, whatever you want to use and stuff it till it's nice and round. Okay. And then with the yarn that's left over on your needle, um, put a knot in one end and find a place where you can put that through and then you need to do the same thing again you need to do a running stitch around the top of this sample so all the way around that edge and then cinch it closed when you reach where you started. So you can see it's cinched there and it makes a lovely ribbed pumpkin, this stitch. Just fasten that off and secure it, so make a knot. And then hide that in the fabric somewhere, and then the crochet fabric, and pull, and then you can cut and you don't see that seamed end. Next, um, you can place a cinnamon stick or wooden stick that you found um, in the center. I cut, I break mine so that I have shorter pieces. And you can also use some twine. Um, I got this from a, a craft shop and uh, I like to cut a length of twine and then tie it around the cinnamon stick and into a bow so that it gives it a little something extra just to finish it off and with the cinnamon stick as well um, if you prefer you can actually get a glue gun and glue that into place to make it secure and solid but that's what it will look like um, when it's finished so I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and that it has inspired you to try out a new stitch and to make um, some crochet pumpkins. Do check out my other tutorials. I also have um, a medium and large size in um, ribbing. So you can try out some different types of crochet ribbing um, if you want. Thanks for watching. Um, do like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you can find more tutorials um, that interest you and you know will motivate you to to get making okay thanks for watching <laughs>